Hi everyone, all this closed will probably be for a while longer, so backgrounds are all weird, clothes are wrong, uh, frame is kind of narrow and close, and that's kind of the biggest room I have for this kind of thing. If I were to do it outside, I'd probably have the cats complain. But be that as it may, we didn't uh, hold off giving our impression of the Inmotu Light Hema Saber any longer, so we'll just make do with what it is. So, what is this? This is, as I said, the Inmotu Hema Light Saber. Um, it is actually made by Berberkusch, but it is made exclusively for Inmotu Paul Becker. Um, so you won't be getting it in his shop, you will get it exclusively at the Enmoto web shop. Now originally the idea was that um, Paul would send this one over and we would have a look at it, spa with it and then send it back. But unpacking it, it became clear rather quickly that I couldn't exactly warm up to the idea of giving it back. So paid for it, shipping and all included and this is now mine. Bit of a spoiler alert uh, when it comes to my opinion on this piece. Um, well, what is it? It is a fairly typical example of a light, latish type of saber. Um, there isn't anything that sticks out as exotic or anything, but I mean, this is a training example, so that is rather good. Um, when it comes to stats, what we have is an overall length of 95-ish centimeters. The grip itself is 12-ish centimeters. 8-ish centimeters of this is the blade. And um, the basket itself goes out 5 centimeters roundabout on each side, which is actually rather nice. It's got a good curve to it, so it's not too broad, actually. Um, but it is wide enough for covering everything you need and deflecting everything that could come down from your hand. The basket in and of itself is made out of 2mm solid material, feels nice and sturdy. Um, the blade is rather straight as befitting what it is trying to be. Um, if you take a straight line from the basket to the point, then you get to a, a max difference between those two points at the deepest point of the curve of the blade of about uh, 2.5 centimeters. So comparatively moderate, which is good um, for this type of saber really. The taper of the blade is kept Simple, it starts at about 2-ish centimeters here, then narrows down rather quickly to 1-ish centimeters, and it kind of stays there. It does get narrower at the point, but not as much anymore, really, and then it uh, yeah, kind of stays where it is, really. When we look at the distal taper, though, we have a bit more variance. We start at 5 millimeters here, we narrow down to 2 millimeters. The last third of the blade is kind of the uh, thinnest and then thinner, 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 and then we have a folded tip. The weight of this saber is 780-ish grams, roundabout, and the point of balance is at, let's say, uh, circa 9-ish centimeters, more or less. So, as I said, by the stats and everything, it's um, fairly typical, all in all. By the weight, if you just go by that, then it isn't probably the lightest of light sabers. Um, that might be something that, that uh, could be critiqued about, depending on where, on how you look at things. Um, one thing I personally don't quite like about it is the folded tip. You can't see that now, but we'll have some pictures later where you can actually see it. Mostly because I am personally not a favor of those. I prepare a normal tip, so just blunted, or a spatulated tip. Simply because I've just seen too many 
of the folded tips just give up after a while. Then again, not too big of a problem for us at least because we always tip our sabers, so it's hidden under there and not too big of a problem. And when it comes to the weight, I have to say that I am perfectly really fine with it. It's not like it's overly heavy or anything. Um, and in the end, it's a practice saber. And any practice weapon you have will in the end take a bigger beating than any real sword will get in the same time. Plus, depending on what you do and who you fence with, you need a certain amount of sturdiness if you don't want your saber and particularly the basket to just disintegrate on you. Um, so it's not like this is just weight because it wasn't thought out. Um, there's a reason it is there and that is simply this is 2mm so this uh, is thicker than some other uh, examples I have in my personal possession and um, it's got a good sturdy fort that narrows down while still being rather flexible and safe in the thrust. Feels good while parrying, feels good while thrusting still, doesn't feel wobbly if you want to do anything with it. Um, to maybe put this piece into context a bit, as I said this is made by Babakush for Inmotu exclusively. I have another saber from Babakush um, which is a bit older. So this one is, I think, if I remember correctly, from 2018. So as far as like Hima Sabers from Berbukush go, it's one of the earlier examples, which you can kind of see in um, some aspects. It's The basket is much simpler. It's thinner material, for one. It's about one-ish millimeters. Um, the blade is also simpler in its design and not quite as purpose-built, I would say. Um, Paul actually put quite a lot of thought in why this is made the way that it is. And uh, you might have already spotted also, this is not the original pommel and grip. Because the grip that actually came with this one is this one here. And I have to say that I ordered this knowing that I would absolutely hate the grip and I exchanged it as quickly as I got it. Not a problem anymore with the later versions. I think the grip is identical to the one that uh, Babakush sells on his own webpage. It is a nice compromise. It's got um, a small area for the thumb, so you've got some texture there. Um, but it also works just as well if you put it in more of a handshake, hammer fist kind of grip really, depending on what you want to need to do. Plus, it's actually got a nice bit of padding here, which is just big enough to cover your knuckles when you grip it, probably. Um, and also protects your thumb a bit when you actually do give into a thumb grip. Not enough really to keep your thumb from being sprained if you really do get a strong hit on the back and just parry uh, kind of badly, but still, it's, it's a nice feature, it's rather comfortable, much better in that regard. Overall, I would say that the fit and finish of this one here, compared to this earlier example, is much, much higher. For example, I actually had to put a bit of padding um, between the blade and the basket, simply because it's just got a bit rattly over time this one really doesn't look or feel like this will ever be something that I have to do. So, quite nice really. Um, it's of course always a problem to um, convey handling over video, which is why, as with the last video, we will put some sparring clips after the stats page and the other pictures, so that you can actually see it in motion to at least kind of try and um, convey it, but overall I would say I really like it. I mean, I bought it after all. Um, it's still rather nimble. It's a light saber, so it's a light saber that I still feel absolutely deserves the name, 
but at the same time it is also something that I feel is um, sturdy enough to withstand some hard continuous training and sparring. One reason why I actually got this is just that um, I have had this one of course and this one is fine I mean even the one millimeter does take a lot of punishment as you can see it doesn't have a um, a big amount of dents, but this is also that when I use this, this is mostly internally in my club or when I spar with people that I know, um, where I know how intense things get. When I fence outside um, on just any event, you know, or God forbid a tournament, then that's what I've been using so far. This is a basket from a Penalsäbe, so um, from the fencing student societies in Germany and Austria etc. And this one is an absolute beast as you can probably already see, but then again this basket alone weights something like 400-500 grams or something on its own. You won't be able to break this one, but it isn't exactly any historic type. And I personally like to have something that's a bit more you know generic and maybe a bit more elegant i'm still going to use this one just because i'm just because i know that this one won't die on me but this one also then is kind of an intermediate thing where i can do fine training within my club and sparring with friends but i can also take it outside um, where i feel that maybe things might need a bit more material behind it as an example what i mean the infamous Hanwei Hattensäbe, and if you look at this basket, this is of course notoriously made from um, paper and goodwill. And this one actually has only really been sparring against other Hanwei savers, and still it ends up looking like this. If anyone has got this, I mean, it's I still like it for what it is and for what I got it for back in the day. But um, yeah, if you spar with anything that is a bit heavier or with a bit more intent, a bit more speed, then this one will just crumble up and die. Um, which you don't want if you're fencing outside. And so this is something that won't happen with this. As I said, I quite like it. Um, I will happily recommend it to anyone doing any kind of laterish type saber fencing, be it, uh, for example, what I do, Hutton, um, or if you're looking at something like Christmann or, you know, that type of stuff, basically. So for that, quite like it. Thumbs up. Full recommendation as far as that goes. The only last caveat maybe, or well, not exactly a caveat, but something that you should probably be aware of is um, it doesn't show as well, I think particularly on video, but this is of course, of course, leather. Blech. And um, the seam of the leather is actually on the inside here. And this is something where Paul told me that um, he had people complain about that. And I do admit that first time unpacking it, I actually wasn't too fond of it either. But it kind of gets less pronounced with use. And especially as soon as you have a glove on, which you will most probably do when you're training or sparring, you really don't notice it anymore. So if your first impression is picking this up and going, Ugh, that seam is kind of weird and I don't like it, give it a second try with a glove because I think you will probably see that you don't notice it as badly. But other than that, you know, for the tip kind of thing of taste and that seam that um, isn't as bad as it first seems, really good one. Like it. Cheers.
war nicht sehr hoch im Netz zu gewesen.